This is a toothbrush rag rug that I did in a triangle shape. They're called that because toothbrushes used to have holes at the base and you would use the base as a tool. Nowadays you make your own tool. It starts off with fabric strips. These are one inch ones I sewed together with a zigzag. Another way to join your fabric strips is to cut a hole right close to the tip of one and then slice the top of another. Then you poke one of those slices through the hole and then you tie it into a knot. This is a really pretty secure way to join your strips. A third method is to poke a hole at near the end of one of your strips, then poke a hole in another one of the strips, and we'll knot them together. So you have the one hole, you poke one end through one of those holes, pull it through, then you go to the other end of your strip, pull it out, and poke that through that first hole. I'm using my scissors to just shove it in a little bit easier. And then pull it all the way. That'll make it nice and secure as well. To make your rag making tool, I used hat making wire. You could use maybe a coat hanger or something like that. I twisted my wire in the form of sort of a paper clip and then used masking tape to wrap the center and secure it. Now I have a tool with holes at both sides. To get started, I thread my tool by pushing one of the fabric ends through the hole. The strips are pinned into position at the join. I use the dark blue as my base and thread the light blue underneath, leaving a loop, and then thread inside the loop using my tool and sort of pull it evenly to create kind of a loose knot. And then I repeat it under the dark blue through the light blue loop. Tighten, smooth it down. Underneath, through, tighten, smooth it down, and go all the way across. Um, this is also called a buttonhole stitch. So you use that to finish off a nice looking buttonhole and then I'll just continue on down the strip. I continued looping and smoothing until I got the base of my triangle. You can see there's actually a little room in between those loops. I'm going to use my tool and poke through. That dark blue comes back up and we're going to do the next row. Taking another strip of the light blue, I kind of loop it over and around the dark blue spine. Loop through one of the old knots from the first row, poke through and create another loop of the light blue and pull that nice and smooth and sort of capturing the dark blue underneath. This takes a second just to figure out, but it's not too bad. Then I repeat the process, create another loop, hold the dark blue in place, poke through one of the old loops from the first row, pull through again, and make everything as smooth as possible, making sure I get the tail end of the fabric out. This was my first attempt, so it was a little clumsy, but eventually it goes pretty smoothly. Continued that all the way across for my second row, and then repeated, just making the rows shorter each time to fill in my full triangle. This is my first time, so my technique is a little bit off when I started, but it got better as I went. Give it a try. I think you might really like this.